Hi, and welcome to this video on designing an interactive button with feet. In this video, we we'll design a fillet button and all its states like hover it, focus it, and press it. And then we will transform that button into an interactive component. So let's get started. Before we jump into this tutorial, let me tell you about Master UI Plus. It's the ultimate Figma design system with over 200 interactive components. You can create amazing user interfaces in no time. Just drag and drop to get fully interactive components in your prototypes. And the best part, you can get 40% off if you click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to our tutorial. The first thing we need to do is to create a new design file and let's rename it into interactive button and next let's go to the frame tool and draw a frame about 40 pixel height and 100 pixel width and let's rename this frame to default this will be the default state of our button next let's go to the fill section and let's pick a blue color all right let's zoom in next let's go to the text tool select inside our frame and type in button let's center it vertically and horizontally to the frame and let's change the font face to roboto and the size to 14 center again horizontal and vertical and then select the frame and the bottom into an auto layout right and let's center our auto layout to center horizontal and vertical next let's go to our components and transform the bottom to our components and again let's create new variants and this variant will be called hovered this will be the hovered state of our button. Let's select default and let's rename this property to states. All right, that's great. Next, let me align those button horizontally. Let's pick that. All right. So we said that this will be our hovered states. Once we hover our button, we need to change the background color to a darker one and also add a drop shadow effect. Let's go to our drop shadow. Let's decrease our background color. All right, that looks great. Now let's select those two buttons and let's add a border radius of five pixel. Next, let's create a new variant and this will be called focus. Let's also change our text button of our hover it. Hover it. So we see the difference. Focus it. And in the focus, we change the background color to a darker one. And we remove our drop shadow. All right, next let's add our last state. Control C. And let's make this frame bigger and add new variants. And this will be pressed. And let's keep the same configuration of colors as our Fox button. And let's not forget in our current variant properties let's rename it to preps all right let's realign this button tidy up all right that's great next let's go and connect all those buttons with the prototype tool so let's go to prototype select our button and click on this plus icon and connect our hover 
let's go here in instant let's pick smart animate and here in action let's select while hovering all right so while hovering change to this state next select our hover button and connect it to focus it and here let's pick while pressing and make sure it is smart anime and again from focus it to press it let's keep it at on click and smart animate and last let's select press it and connect it back to the first default state so once we click again on press it it will go back to our default state all right now to see our final result let's go back to the design tab and create new frame and let's go to assets and here is our components drag it to our frame and let's go select the frame let's go to the play button all right that was everything you need to know about creating a basic interactive button Thanks for joining me for this tutorial. You can find the download link to the exercise file of this tutorial in the description down below. And if you are looking for more interactive components, then you should check out Master UI Plus. Everything you need will be at your fingertips when it comes to interactive components. And this will make your design process faster and more efficient. And one last thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.